All right, everybody, welcome to the L.A. Soto Show. This is the election episode. We got a great show for you lined up tonight. Hope you all enjoy it. So sit back, relax, crack open a cold beer, and let's get this party started, baby. Good thing about being up here is there's no COVID-19. I'm in quarantine. <laughs> the stupid factory. Let's see how stupid it really is. Here's the store, by the way. This is uh, the stupid factory. Check it out. Excuse me a second. Hey, I, uh, your tires should be good. I put uh, I put 50 in it, so it's pretty close to the other ones. It's not the other ones were a little bit above 50. Yeah. Uh, this, the but I've got it right at 50. It's a little bit right at 50. So you should be all right, drive up. So, all right, see you later. All I know is bitches be tripping. Okay, maybe I pushed one. Ha! Ah. So funny, it's so funny. Let's check out some of these other shirts they got up here. My Gucci shirt. My Gucci shirt is at the cleaners. Hey. Aren't all of ours. Boobies make me smile. Yes, they do. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see what's going on here. They got, uh, I need a hug and a glass of wine. Okay, that's not really uh this is what, what it is here, man. Beer o'clock, it's about beer o'clock for me, man. Seriously. I should already be home right now, so. <laughs> Check it out, they got, they got some pretty cool stuff here. It's just different stuff. It's, uh, see, this is, I think I got, I think I got this shirt actually, as a matter of fact. Some of them. Uh, let's see what else we got. Um, they got like games and stuff like that over here. Really uh, crazy stuff over here. Really, really crazy. I think uh, every one of us had one of these when we were younger. I did. I had one of these. Look at those right there. Those little knife comb things. Knife comb things. Yes, sir. Oh, let's check out some of these other ones. A lot of anti-socialists don't like you. Don't be a salty bitch. Oh, man. I don't give a rat's behind. You know, so we got, we got a little taste here of the, uh, the stupid factory. Doing a little ad free advertising for them here on the L.A. Soto show. Because that's what L.A. Soto does, you know. He helps out businesses. He helps everybody else out. So y'all need to help me out. Subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. All that good stuff. I need subscribers, everyone. I need subscribers. Let's see, uh, education is important, but cold beer is more important. Yeah, that is true. Oh man, there's just a lot of different stuff here at the store. Here it is up there, the writing there, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. But right now, I think it's about time for me to get up out of here though. Yeah, you know, you know, it's about time to get out. It's election day. Don't forget to go out and vote, everybody. This is the biggest election ever. Motherfuckers died to give us that right, so go out and vote. That'll lead us into this next segment. Yeah, we are the future. Go out and vote, y'all. This is the most important election in history. We gotta make a change. So pick your sorry ass up off the couch, get in that whip, and go vote. They're doing heavy COVID because they want to scare people. 
It's a line he's been repeating at every rally, as his predecessor gleefully pointed out in Orlando today. And well, what's his closing argument? That people are too focused on COVID. He said this at one of his rallies. COVID, 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 he's complaining. He's jealous of COVID's media coverage. Trump was watching, tweeting at Obama in real time. I saw Obama this morning. He had a couple of cars there honking their horn. Today, First Lady Melania Trump highlighting her own experience with COVID in her first and only campaign appearance. Like many of you, I have experienced the first-hand effects of COVID-19. This administration chooses to keep moving forward during this pandemic. Go out and vote today. It's election day. Exercise your right to vote as an American. Motherfuckers died for that. Overnight, President Trump claimed everything is under control. Right so now, I think it's under control. I'll tell you what. How? A thousand Americans are dying a day. They are dying. That's true. And you ha it is what it is. But that doesn't mean we aren't doing everything we can. The president doing a show and tell with charts, attempting to defy the grim reality. If you look at death, death start to go up again. One. Well, right here, the United States is lowest in numerous categories uh, we're lower than the world lower than the lower world. than what is that? europe oh you're doing death as a proportion of cases i'm talking about death as a proportion of population that's where the u.s is really bad well, well, much worse than south korea germany etc you can't you can't do that you have Why to go, do you that? have to go by you have to go by where look here is the united states you have to go by the cases with more than 1,000 american lives lost each day to the coronavirus the u.s death rate now the fourth highest in the world president trump saying it's not his fault when i took over we didn't even have a test now in all what, fairness why would you have a was test no test the virus didn't this. exist it comes after his attack on the nation's top coronavirus coordinator dr deborah burks after she offered a grim assessment of the resurgence of cases it is extraordinarily widespread the president tweeting in order to counter nancy deborah took the bait and hit us pathetic trump later dialing it back i think we're doing very well I told Dr. Burks I think we're doing very well. She was in my office a little while ago. She's a person I have a lot of respect for. And he continued to publicly contradict the dire warnings from his health experts, instead offering this rosy spin. We're beginning to see evidence of significant progress. I've got to say, I'm working my ass off here. This is... And now it's time for another episode of Stopping the Spread. We're bringing this one to you from Broadway at the Beach in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. It's Sally Soto hanging out here at Broadway at the Beach in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. September 6th, um, we're still in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. And uh, this part of the show is called Stopping the Spread. We're gonna go check it out and see what, see if people are social distancing and you know, following procedures and you know, being safe out there. That's basically what it is. So we are gonna find out right now, right? So come on, don't be don't be afraid. Come on. Here. A lot of people up here. 
Find a spot over here where I can stand. So I think it's safe to say there's no social distancing going on here at Broadway at the beach in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Might want to avoid this place at, at all possible. I see, uh, I see people from different countries up here. Uh, people are sweating, coughing, um, sneezing all over everybody, you know, okay. sh sh touching everything, touching everything. That's how you, you, know, you touch something. Okay, so you know you're sticking your fingers in your mouth or hell, you know, maybe you go home and you know, get, get in bed with your lady or your wife or whatever and get down, start getting down to some business and you know, you got that COVID on your hands and next thing you know, she's like, what the hell's going on, you know, and, or, you know, either or vice versa. But either way, so, um, I was just saying, so, I don't think there's any social distancing going on here, it's safe to say. That's going to do it for this week's show. Uh, just remind everybody, go out and vote. The polls are only going to be open for a few more hours, so go do that. Uh, get your vote in. It's going to be interesting to see what happens here. So when the results are in, I'll post a video for you all. So if you ring the bell for the notifications, you should get one of those. My name is L.A. Soto. Be safe, love, peace, and chicken grease, and much luck to Mr. Biden. Y'all be good. Peace out. All right, the debut album from the Devil's Night Project, Unholy, Ungrateful, and Pathetic. It's exclusive on the L.A. Soto YouTube channel. Check it out. Show some love.